Hey, this is Ian from EssentialTennis.com. Welcome to this video lesson in which we're going to be talking about singles and doubles strategy. Specifically, we're going to be answering a question from Charles on Facebook who wrote and said, what generic strategy should all players learn? It's a great question, Charles. And I'm a strong believer that all players should have a strong base, a foundation of understanding and being able to execute the fundamentals both in singles and doubles. So what does that mean exactly? Well, in singles, in both, let me start off with both singles and doubles, high serve percentage and high return percentage. First serves in play and returns in play is absolutely crucial. So it's very important, especially with the serve that you get out there just on your own. You don't need anybody to help you practice. Get out there and practice your different placements, your different types of serves. You must be confident with your serve. Return is crucial as well. As well. We're going to talk more about that. But within singles, once you get the point going, ground stroke consistency and accuracy is a must. It's essential. If you're not able to consistently target cross court on both your forehand and backhand, and at least a little bit past the service line, get, maintain a little bit of depth with your ground strokes. If you can't hit a target around here five, ten times in a row, then you're always going to have a hard time really becoming a solid player in singles. Both on your backhand and on your forehand side, you must be able to maintain a steady, solid rally back and forth. Doesn't necessarily have to be a big powerful shot, but if you can't target cross courts, and most of your ground strokes should be hit cross court in singles, especially at first. That leads me to number two for singles, and that is changing direction. It's important to learn to develop a weapon at some point so that when you, when you receive a short ball on your side of the court, you have the ability to change direction. So let's kind of pretend we were engaged in a cross court rally. You receive a short ball. Being able to then target down the line consistently is really important. We have less court to work with here, so being able to hit with some topspin usually is very, very helpful when it comes to hitting the shot confidently and consistently. So working on both your cross court shots and down the line and knowing when to target each spot is extremely important and really should be the generic strategy that you come up with first for singles. All right, when it comes to doubles, as I started with on singles, high first serve percentage and high percentage of returns put in play is number one. That's crucial. But once the point gets started, something that drives me crazy when I watch recreational or club level doubles is watching net players get opportunities and hit to the wrong person on the opposing team. Or they have a tough shot and they hit to the wrong person. Here's a general guideline that is really important to understand and implement. If you have a defensive or a neutral volley, let's say maybe you're making contact with your first volley behind the service line, or maybe you're even at the service line or in front, but you're making contact down low, do not hit back to the close person on the opposing team. It might not be so clear cut at this, maybe both as this, maybe both players will be in a net position, but whichever player is further away from you, that's the side of the court that, I almost dropped the ball there. Uh, that's the side of the court that you want to target, is the side with the more defensive player. It gives you more space to work with, it gives you more time to get set up for the next shot, as opposed to the person who's closer who has a much easier time to try to put the ball away if you pop it up to them, etc. So neutral or defensive volley, keep it towards the player furthest away from you. On the other hand, if you have an offensive shot, you're close to the net, the ball is high, you're making contact above the height of the net, do not hit back to the baseline player or the person furthest away from you the vast majority of the time. You should be aiming towards the person closest to you because they have the least amount of time to react. You're able to aim directly at their feet as opposed to the baseline player. There's just so many different reasons why hitting in their direction in general is best. 
You know, don't give them a high ball. No, we're not trying to hit them, but hitting in their direction is usually going to be your best bet as far as winning the points. So there's some ge uh, generic strategy tips there, Charles, both singles and doubles, some foundational things that must be understood and implemented if you want to be successful at any level of either singles or doubles. If you're watching this on YouTube and you've enjoyed it, do me a favor and click like. Also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future lessons. And if you have any comments or questions at all, please feel free to leave those down below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll talk to you again very soon. Thank you.